Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to a brand new video in this channel where we talk all things mindful living, mindset and money. This is me Shamima Shah Jahan, your transformation and high performance expert. So I know what you must be wondering, why on earth I'm sitting on a ladder and why do I have candles lit up? aesthetics but i thought it would be nice to sit on a ladder to add some spice to this video because it is kind of linked to the topic that we will be discussing today that is reconstruct your life to success so in this video i'm going to particularly talk about one of the problems that stops people from achieving their true potential and how we can overcome it so the first question you have to ask yourself is, do you consider yourself someone who has realized your true potential? If not, ask yourself if you are at least in your journey towards realizing your true potential. This is important because God expects us to really unleash our true potential and become the leader we are capable of becoming because at the end of the day, we've just got one shot to give it our all to earn a place in heaven. Of course, we will be going because of the mercy of God, but our work is important because when we realize our true potential, we will not only be making lives better for ourselves, but we will be also touching numerous other lives by serving and benefiting them. And remember, you are not a product of randomness, but God willed for your existence. Your presence was planned. There is a difference that only you can make and the only way that you can do that in the bestest way is by realizing your true potential. So the question arises, what is one thing that stops people from achieving their true potential? And that is having dysfunctional beliefs. So first and foremost, you have to ask yourself if you have a clear idea a clear vision for your future. Where do you see yourself when you have actualized your true potential? And this is important because the definition of success varies according to each individual. The way I define my success is not necessarily the way you or your close friend would define success, which is why it is important we introspect and ask ourselves if we have a clear idea of what success is. Maybe for one individual, success is gaining financial prosperity and creating a comfortable life for themselves while helping others. Maybe for another individual, it may be raising righteous children who will become leaders of tomorrow. And yet another individual can define success as living a minimalistic lifestyle. So you see, it totally depends on each and every individual, which is why it's important that you have self-awareness and talking about self-awareness it's not just important that you know where you'd be or how you'd be when you have realized your true potential but you also have to ask yourself what are the limiting beliefs or what are the dysfunctional beliefs that is stopping you from reaching your true potential so many of us understand the idea of limiting beliefs what are dysfunctional beliefs? Dysfunctional beliefs are beliefs or statements or thoughts, attitudes, whatever you call it, that you believe to be true, but in fact, it is not true. So let me give you an example to make you understand this concept further. Maybe you have the goal to become a number one best-selling author and become financially independent. But you are not going ahead and pursuing this vision that you have for yourself because you think that a person cannot become that person that you envision yourself to be without having a degree or without having a strong support system within the family. And we know for a fact that this is not true because we have countless examples when we look back in history or really read through biographies of successful people who have realized dreams like dreams that we have for ourselves without having it all too you know not everyone who is a self-made billionaire and billionaire had phds not everyone were born with a silver spoon you get the idea so while you draw the picture of your ideal self of your vision it's also important that 
you become aware of the dysfunctional beliefs that is holding you back. And after realizing this dysfunctional beliefs, the next step is to change them, to reframe them. This is important because if you do not overcome your dysfunctional beliefs, then you will be living a mediocre lifestyle. Let's face it, it's so much easier to just give in and become a part of the herd than stand out and realize our true potential because sometimes God puts tests in our way to make us stronger and to make us really deserving of it because we are talking about becoming leaders when we are talking about actualizing our true potential. So now, what is this concept of reframing our dysfunctional beliefs? Let's say an individual thinks that he or she cannot achieve financial prosperity because she or he does not have a college degree or a university degree, which obviously is a dysfunctional thought, then they will simply have to reframe it saying that if I work hard enough with a strategy, with a plan, with a goal, asking help from those around me, then I can work my way through until I become financially free. Let me take another example. Let's say an individual thinks that he or she needs to be rich to be happy. And we know this is a dysfunctional thought because how many examples can we find of people who had it all but were severely depressed and even ended up committing suicide? So if you are having a dysfunctional thought as such where you think that you cannot be happy without being rich, then you have to reframe this dysfunctional belief with a positive affirmation like, I do not need to be rich for me to be happy, but happiness lies in working towards a worthy ideal. You get the idea. So a few self-analysis questions I want to leave you with is number one, how does life look like? And what am I doing when I am working towards reaching my highest potential? What are the inspirations that God is giving me? Where do I see myself? Because not everyone will have visions of them talking on stage. Not everyone will have visions of hiking and climbing mountains. Not everyone will have visions of diving deep into the sea or flying up to the moon you know you need to figure out and secondly what are the dysfunctional beliefs that is stopping me towards actualizing my true potential and remember this comes with self-awareness and finally after you have figured out your dysfunctional beliefs the next step to do is to write out a statement that reframes these dysfunctional beliefs so it is positively supporting your journey towards reaching your true potential. And in my previous video, I spoke about culture and how it stops people from achieving their true potential. So if you find you or anyone you know is not working towards their true potential because they have the dysfunctional belief that they are born in the wrong culture so they can't help it, then make sure you check out this video because I talk about a lot of stereotypes that needs to be broken. Till next time, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And don't forget to check me on Facebook and Instagram because I'm pretty active on my stories. And if you want soulful letters that talks about self-development infused with faith, then make sure you check out Raw Monday Musings. Link is in the description below. Take care. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.